Hello again. Several people have in the past made humorous suggestions in the comments here to the effect that one day a black man will be cast as Winston Churchill in some film or play. It is unwise to tempt the gods by making such jokes because they are apt to revenge themselves upon mortals who have the temerity to try and predict the future, however light-heartedly. Lo and behold, a new musical has opened at the Old Vic in London. It is about the suffragettes, Emmeline Pankhurst and her daughter Sylvia. And both the main characters are played by black women. They may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. And in the description, I give a link to a review of the production from the magazine Time Out. I shall return to this shortly. Let us ask ourselves just what is going on here and see if we can make any kind of sense of it. Winston Churchill is one of the greatest Englishmen who ever lived. Not only did he lead this country to victory in the Second World War, he also won the Nobel Prize for Literature, what you might call a Renaissance man. I'm pretty sure that if a bunch of white British people went to South Africa and staged a musical in which Nelson Mandela was played by a white man, this would be front page news across the world as a shocking example of racism and cultural appropriation. It really would not go down well, of that I'm quite sure. Is there any difference? Why is it okay for Emmeline Pankhurst to be played by a black woman? But if somebody produced a play about Mary Seacole and gave the lead role to a white woman, it would be regarded as in very poor taste. This is the first point, that this is part of a wider trend to colonise our history and replace white British history with black Africans. I have spoken before about the ludicrous attempts to pretend there were black people in Britain during the Roman occupation in the first few centuries AD. This is part of the same strategy, to ease black people into English history until people stop noticing and just accept that black people have been around in England since forever. Most of us know that it is a lie, but it becomes just too wearing to keep drawing attention to this deception, and it's easier just to let it ride and allow our children to be indoctrinated with this mad nonsense. There is another point, though. And it is so glaringly obvious that even a write-on magazine like Time Out has noticed and drawn attention to it. It is that almost all the actors in this play are black, and a few are white. Not one is Asian. Time Out says, and I give a link to the review in the description to this video, that the viewer wondered exactly, reviewer I should say, wondered exactly what the casting was trying to say about race. It's mostly black performers with a few white performers and no other ethnicities. It is appealingly diverse, but not in a way entirely reflective of either modern Britain or the British Empire of the time. If its diversity is a statement, what is the statement in not casting Asian actors? Quite. Why is it always black people who are shoehorned into these things? There were Indians and Chinese people living in London in the 19th and early 20th century when this play is set, but you won't see any of them. Only people of African heritage. Why is that? You will see the same thing when some television drama wishes to show that Victoria and London was diverse. Never Chinese people or Hindus, but always black folk. I wonder if viewers have ever asked themselves why this is. Is it accidental or deliberate? Does nobody know about the Chinese community centred around Limehouse down by the docks? Anybody ever hear of the Laskers? Why do productions like this erase all minorities other than black people? Is it racism or what?